Hello everyone, I'm Miss Stora and today I'm going to show you how to create a cardboard construction based on the work of Picasso. What we're going to do is we're going to make a profile um, piece of work which is a face that is angled sideways and we're going to make a straightforward view of a face. What we're then going to do is slot them together like this and create our own freestanding sculpture which is based on the work of Picasso. So if you follow the steps with me you'll be able to make your own at home with support of an adult. Within this project we are going to look at 3D. 3D means looking at things in three dimensions meaning if it was once a square it is now a cube we can see around it it is a physical object when we can see the side and there are light and shadow we call this form so we are going to look at creating a three-dimensional object where we can see form here's an example of a picasso cardboard sculpture here you can see a profile shot of a similar sculpture and this is another cardboard sculpture by Picasso. What I'm going to show you is a simple way to do a portrait. If you begin near the top of your paper and draw a long diagonal this will create the profile picture like this. Here you can see on this quick drawing that I did of Picasso's work, I'm going to create this long straight side which is the nose and then carry on down to the mouth and chin. So here I am, straight like this, slightly diagonal and then jump out a little bit for the lips, down a little bit further and then we've got the chin. If you imagine this is the jaw and then we need a neck. Here we can curve around like this and we can add the detail after. So very easily there we've got the shape of a person and we can add the detail in after. So here's part of the hairstyle. This is just a piece of cardboard from a package that arrived at the house. You can use anything you can find. It can be brown cardboard, it doesn't matter. And then here I'm going to draw the lips on a little bit more like this and make a little bit more of a definite chin, a little bit of a nose and then create the side version of the eye like Picasso did. So there we are, quite quickly we've got a Picasso style portrait. So here's the drawing once more and this is what I'm just creating, something similar on the cardboard. Next I'm going to cut it out. For the straightforward portrait, if you put your profile portrait at the side we can create a line across from where the eyes are and a line across from where the nose is and where the lips go so that we've got them slightly in line it doesn't matter if they don't fully match so don't worry next create an egg shape like this I'm using charcoal, which is why it keeps breaking a little bit. Then we know that the eyes are going somewhere there and there. And I'll just draw them simple shapes out. I would like some ears because we can see there's an ear on the other one. And I'm going to add a nose. I'm going to add a straight line because Picasso's work was quite abstract. And I'm going to add a pair of lips here and a chin. There we are. So we've got that basic shape again and you're writing what you're thinking. We're going to cut it out once more. Here you can see 
both the profile and the straightforward portrait. They've both got necks there, as you can see, and they've both got the features in the same place. The next step is to add the slots. I'll show you what you have to do for that. So on the person who is sideways on, if you draw a line about halfway like that, this is where we're going to cut. And on the person who is the straightforward person, if you draw the line coming from the top of the head down towards where the nose are, is, this means that these two pieces are going to slot together. So if you just watch, what you will need to do is probably get an adult to do this. Cut through your cardboard like this and cut another little bit out so that there's enough room for the two to slot together. And the same on the person who is in profile. Here we are. So cut the slight width out so that the two slot together quite snugly like this. There are the two bits with the slit one through the top of the head and one through the neck. So at this stage we check that they definitely fit. As you can see on mine I've got to cut a little bit more because they're not quite aligned yet. So if I just chop down a little bit more into the nose, it should fit snugly. Let's try that now. So slotting the two together like this. And there we are, we've got them both to the same height. At this stage, we take them apart and paint them. So you can watch that in a moment. For this demonstration, I'm going to use acrylic paint and a household paintbrush um, to paint mine. You may not have this at home, but you could use felt tip pens or you could use pastels or coloured pencils. You could make yours much smaller. It's a possibility to use a cardboard box from a cereal packet. So try to be a here you can see I'm adding the black lines to the portraits. What you must be aware of is if you're using acrylic paint, as you can see I've got a wipeable tablecloth below me. Be very careful because what you don't want to do is ruin the furniture. I'm adding pattern here because Picasso liked tribal masks. Here is the head that we've constructed, there it is, full frontal shot and profile shot and when they're added together this is how it looks and there's the side view, the profile view once more. Here's one I made previously and as you can see here look I put a another fold in it so that it stood better and I've added a cardboard toilet roll tube and on this one we're going to put it on a taller stand like this so Picasso in his earlier works you'll see he added his to a stand I've added my work onto this stand on the other piece that I made it's on a much lower stand but on Picasso's work he had it much more on what appeared to be a taller stand and this is how our sculpture or 3D construction looks. 
I hope you enjoyed this Picasso construction project. If you did, be sure to tune in again for another lesson with Miss Stora. Bye.